Hey guys, it's Philip from Babs Hunter up here. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like button. Yeah. All right. All right. So today on this episode, we've got an EP3 transmission, so a K series five speed transmission, and we're going to be putting a SynchroTech Synchro set in it. So I'm going to get my tools and we'll start tearing this transmission apart and then we'll get these synchros installed. Right, so as you can see, they've already taken the speed sensor out. They've taken the um, fork for the throwout bearing out. We'll start off by removing the shift selector here. So we have four 10 mil bolts. So before we take that completely out, we have to take this Allen out. I believe it's eight. Yeah, eight. So that's what that is. The shift selector come right out. Had this transmission apart before I put an LSD in it. So it does have an M Factory LSD in it already. So we gotta get this reverse switch off. It's a 27 millimeter. All that is. Then we'll remove our detents. So we got three of them. They're 12 millimeters. All right, these will have a, a washer, aluminum washer. They'll have a spring. And then also have a ball. We'll get the balls in a second. Got all three of them. They're just a little, a little ball. All right, don't lose it. All right, so now we got the detents out. Now we can flip the case up and start removing the bolts that hold the cases together. And they are also a 12 millimeter. All right, and then on these bolts that um, hold the cases together. You have two that are longer. One goes here and the other goes here. Well, correct, the other one goes here, all right? So it's only two that are longer than the rest. The rest of them are all the same length. So you got one here and one here. Now we're gonna take out the 14 millimeter here. It holds the reverse. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove this plug so that we can get our snap ring off of the bearing. And that's a 14 millimeter Allen. Do not tighten this with an impact. It will break the case. Use a block of wood to put under the case here so that the main shaft is, isn't bottoming out. The next thing we gotta do is separate and get our snap ring in here to where it's not in the, the bearing. So if you look here, see the snap ring. All right, it's got an ear right over here and an ear right there. So we gotta separate them. And then this bearing should drop down. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start splitting the case so that um, this gear stack will go down and we can get this snap ring out. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap here now. All right. All right, so basically what I wound up doing was getting the snap ring separated. It's kind of hard to do and hold the camera, but I got the snap ring to where it's separated. And then while I was also working the snap ring with my pliers, I was prying up on the case and it came right. 
had dropped the shaft on down. But if you see here, you can see the, the ring is still, snap ring is still up here in this groove, but the bearing is down. All right, so now I can lift off the case. Just a um, like a windage tray kind of deal, kind of helps soak the shafts. Just getting all this big Honda bond that's hanging out off of it. It looks pretty good in here. Let's take this gear stack out now. So all we have to do is take our selectors out here and they're 10 millimeters, so we'll start with these here. All right, takes that out, and we'll take these two out. All right, and then we can slide the reverse idler out, I think, maybe not. There's our reverse idler to get the gear stack out. I would prefer to be on the other side so that I could get this area in in here in my paws, right? But just grab the whole stack with the shift fork and lift it out like so. And there's our M Factory LSD that I had installed previously. All right, so now we can take our shift forks off and they just slide off. Check them, make sure they're not bent, cracked, and all that stuff. They look good so far. All right, and then we're gonna be doing the synchros, so it's just the brass synchros. So this is the main shaft. This is the counter shaft. What we gotta do is we gotta use a puller such as this. I rented this one from AutoZone and this is the part number for the separator, which is the bottom half. And this is the part number for the puller, which is this part. And this right here, is the rear table out of a Honda CRV, and it has a hole in the center. It's perfect to set the gear stack up in. So now what we're gonna do is use this to pull the gear stack apart. So what we've done is we've put the separator down here on, I believe this is third gear. Second gear is attached to the shaft. So we're going to, I've got it basically I don't know if you can see it or not. I've got the puller flat side up and it's on the bottom of this gear, but not touching this gear, all right? Not touching second. So all these free float, all right? Second gear is attached to the shaft though. So what we're gonna do is use this to pull the whole gear stack up. could just take these nuts off and take it off, but let's put this back over here. This table's kind of nasty. I like to keep all the stuff in order how it goes. That. There we go. The best way to do this is as you take everything off, leave it in order, 
and I usually flip everything upside down. So say when this comes off, just flip it right here upside down and I'm working this way so that I know when I reassemble, right? Needle bearing looks good. All right, so now we can start to reinstall our new synchro. So basically what I did is I just took an old oil jug, for instance, like, like one of these, it's an old one gallon oil jug and I cut it in half and just made me a little pan. I ain't telling you what to do or nothing, but now once you get in trouble with your mommy, your wife, whoever, you go steal an old piece of Tupperware and you can put them in that. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and open up all of them just set them over in this just so they can be soaking. It's just fresh trans manual transmission fluid. So now we got some transmission fluid on it. Go ahead and take it out and just shake it off and get that on there. like the one we had and right, if you notice they've got three little tabs right here and they all go into each one of these little gaps it's got one one here and one here and one here and so those little tabs here just have to line up in those that's all you gotta do all right and then we'll put this one back on here Got our last, our last one looks like this, and we just have the two big ones, and they go on the, the two big ones go on the uh, counter shaft. Got some old brass on there, some brake cleaner, and clean it off real quick. All right, so this last brass here, you just reuse the old one. This one isn't actually shifting any gears. Put this back on here. So this is the um, hub and this is the slider. And if you don't take these off, it helps. Like, separate them from each other. There's only one way they'll go back together. All right, there it is. Money, money. All right, so like I said, you reuse the outside brass. And then our sleeve. All right, and then if you had a six gear, the six gear would go here. It'd have a couple more pieces, but this goes in there. And then we have our bearing. And so to get that bearing back on, I just. Tap it on there like that. You saw I was using rubber mallet. It's not putting any force on it per se. And now it's back in there. So now we've got them all reassembled here. That's our main shaft. Now we're gonna move over and do the counter. All right, so now we've got our counter shaft. And to start with, you have to use a 12 millimeter Allen and you turn this clockwise to loosen it. Kind of opposite of what you think clockwise to remove it and I used a um, 22 millimeter socket and it was able to fit perfectly inside the bearing to where my pusher push puller it would uh, push through the socket and get that shaft out all right so you can kind of see it's I've got it this far and take this back off. So now we got it up to here and our gears can slide on up and off. Let's 
So we gotta keep this stuff in order. Let's see. All right, so you can see basically this is how I was able to get it. The rest of the stuff off too, I had to use the vise to hold the puller because it's pretty tight and it just takes a lot of force. So, see here, the, those bearing or those um, gears are coming off too. All right, so they're loose. I'm get this off. All right, so I did put this back in to pull these gears just so my puller's not messing up my bolt holes here. All right, so now you can see we've got it all the way apart. And we start with the reassembly. These two here left, make sure we've got transmission fluid in them real good. All right, these little tabs here have to line up with these notches. It lines up like so. And then we'll all right and again we got to make sure that our tabs line up like that and then our other synchro here that's got to line up on this gear the tabs all right, so the little tabs on this part right here have to line up with those. Golly, this thing, this thing needs another second gear. You can see these teeth are toast. It's been quite some time since I was working on this transmission and a main part or the main reason for that was is the second gear was damaged and the part number is discontinued at Honda. So thankfully I was able to get one. This one came through Synchrotech and it's OEM Honda as you can see and if you're needing a second gear let me know, I can hook you up and get you a better price than Synchrotech. Much better price, probably like 50 bucks off. So now I'm gonna get back to reassembling this and we'll pick it up in a minute after I get this stuff back organized because like I said, it's been sitting here for probably about close to two weeks now. So just to show you the difference of our, our bad one, this one's bad, let's see how the little to focus and see how our teeth are on here you now they're flattened and then look at this new one see how they're nice and crisp all right so the new old so if we left this old one in it it's never going to shift right even with new synchros so now i'm just going to continue uh, installing everything onto the counter shaft here and since it's been sitting here uh, probably a week and a half now uh, some of this stuff has like some dust particles on it and stuff so I'm just going to use some brake cleaner and basically just rinse it off all right so this is our new second gear we got to get our new synchro right here all right cool so we got in the groove here and we got it to where the teeth are lined up so now we just have to align these alignment pins here with the with the grooves in the gear.
just like so. See it? Shifts just fine right there. All right. This little piece here, I don't really know what it is or why it's in there, but it was in there and it goes to where the groove in it was down. So that's how, we'll, how it came apart, how I'm gonna put it back together. All right, and then our um, bearing goes in here. I guess there's a little spacer that keeps that up to where it's supposed to be. All right. And then our third gear. This is where having a press would be nice because you could just press this back on. But I'm gonna get a, um, I guess an extension and a hammer and probably sit this down on the floor to where it doesn't give this table's plastic so it gives and it just make a mess if I'm making a hammering on it so get it down on the floor on a block of wood all right so let's talk about this first um, like I said I'm gonna I got this on a block of wood so that it's not damaging the shaft down here because wood is soft <clears throat> and it's not gonna damage the shaft so then I've got a, a half inch extension and this is one that I pretty much use for banging on anyway it's all mushroomed out no good at this point for an actual extension and I just have my two pound hammer. And so what I'm gonna do is essentially put my extension in here, which I might be better off using a 3 8 extension because it'll fit in that groove a little bit better. So, but what you don't wanna do is hit up here and you don't wanna hit out here on the gear, on the surface, on the outer part. So you wanna hit in this inner part here and you want to work it in a circle. And, by, and not necessarily working in a circle, but side to side, such as this, so that your gear goes on straight. Yeah, 3 8 fits in there a little bit better, so. You see, I'm not hitting this hard, I'm tapping it. You know, ideally, a press would you know, work wonders and maybe soon I'll get a press, but right now I don't have one, so. All right, so you can see that it's all the way down on there now. It's supposed to have that gap, that's normal. But on the inside here, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it with my eye, that there's actually no gap between the gears where they meet at the base. So, so now we'll come back over here and go to our next gear. Lubricant on there. Continue the process of tapping them on. All right, so just got the, the next gear installed. So I'd be, let's see, second, third, and be fourth gear. And now we have fifth gear. And then go on there like so. Tap it down on there too. And she use the sleeve. And So that got that all the way down. Puts this back over here. And be careful if you're hitting on this because it can mushroom it out. So you try to get a socket that fits on there just perfect, but will also fit over the shaft here. So that goes on there. All right, and it's got some little shims or a shim. Those go towards the spacer. Just get 
get that tap down on there like so. And then we have our nut that goes on here. And to tighten this one, we need to turn it to the left counterclockwise. And then I need to get my Allen to tighten this down. All right, and that is a 12. Clean the case out real quick. Like I said, it's been sitting here about a week and a half or so and got some bugs in it. And also I'm gonna clean the magnet. You see the magnet has a good bit of metal on it from that gear, I assume. All right, so we're back to here. I've got the case cleaned out. I put my magnet back in, which you can see here. And then these are the washers that go on the main shaft, which is here. And one is flat, it goes on the bottom. The other one is concave. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it makes like a dome, right? So you want the dome facing up towards the gear stack, just like so. And we'll put our differential back in. I went ahead and scraped off most of the old Honda bond on this too. It's not perfect, it doesn't really have to be, it'll still seal. So we need the counter shaft on the left and we'll put our main shaft on the right. Okay, so putting the shift forks back on, start with the one on the counter shaft and do the one that goes on the center of the main shaft and then the one that goes here. So it should look like that once it's complete. There we go, just like that. All right, so I've got the case cleaned out now, put the windage tray in. All right, so you see it has two tabs here, so they go in these two holes here, all right? So to, how I like to do it, just put some silicone or Honda Bond, whatever you have, a little bit on each one. All right, and then this is gonna go down in the case right here. So we'll get that in. And we'll put both of these tabs into these holes. And now I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and come back to it. Right, so this is the reverse and it goes. You have to push this shift, shift selector up because if it's in the down position, you won't be able to get this in. And then it's very important where this hole faces. So essentially on the, the outer case, it's gonna, that, the bolt that holds that goes right here. It, the bolt goes through this hole and into this, okay? So if you see that bolt is just up under this bolt hole here, it's just up under this bolt hole. So about where we have it there. Because if you have it misaligned, it's very hard to get that bolt in. I mean, you can probably stick a screwdriver through it, and try to get it straight, but just do it off the bat, good to go. All right, so then have our Reverse out of their holder. Little 10 millimeter bolts. So then we have this piece. It goes in here. Again, two 10 millimeter bolts. If you have a six speed, this assembly here is gonna look a little different. All right, so it's probably been, I don't know, a couple hours now since uh, stuck the windage tray into the case, the outer case. And I just went up and picked up a fresh tube of Ultra Gray. And Ultra Gray is really similar to Honda Bond. I really like it, I use it a good bit. So now I'm just gonna put me a quick bead around this case and All right, so I got a sufficient bead all the way around it now. Now we can stick on the outer case. The little spots here on the my gear. So the long spot here has to be towards the outside of the case. So make sure you have the long one facing towards the front of the case. Make sure you got all that lined up first. All right, 
So now we've got it kind of down starting. We need to make sure we split our bearing here. So these are just some snap ring pliers here and we can use those to space that apart and then tap the case and you can see it. All right, so now that we've got that set, we can make sure our shift forks still all work freely and they do. Reinstall our bolts around the case. This bracket goes on the front of the transmission. We can go ahead and install these detents. So remember, each of these has a little metal ball. Drop it in there. That's three. And then also, when our pieces going in, they have a little detent spring. They have an aluminum washer. So make sure you get your spring in there and it has aluminum washer. And also a 12. All right, so I put just a dab of silicone on the threads for the reverse sensor. 27 millimeter, tighten it up the bolt for the reverse idler in. All right, so again, it goes right here. It's this bolt, the 14 millimeter with the washer. And yeah, it's just a tad off. So just using a Phillips head screwdriver here and just turn it to where the threads lined up. There we go. So it's 14 millimeter. And again, make sure it has the aluminum washer on it piece of cake. All right, then now we need to get our snap ring set here. So if you see here, it's still not snapped down in the groove. So basically what we gotta do is flip the transmission over. Sometimes you can just flip it over and, and the shaft makes it fall into that groove. Other times I put a board on the floor and just tap, you know, take the transmission and tap it down on this on the board and it'll make that shaft fall into that. So, all right, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just put a board down on the ground transmission and bump it you can see here how it's got the snap ring down in that groove and the snap ring is together it's not spaced apart like it was so we know that's where it's supposed to be so now we've got that we can put the cover back on that and it's just this little plug here now I know I told you whenever I was taking this apart but do not tighten this with an impact because it will break this case I'll just take and put a little small bead of silicone around it. All right, and then 14 millimeter Allen. Snug her down. Now we gotta put our shift selector in. Our shift forks. We wanna make sure they're all lined up with this groove. So just use a flathead. And now we've got all three of the shift forks where they're lined up with this groove. And then this portion here will go down in that groove. But first, we've got to put a bead of silicone around this. All right, so it has an alignment dowel here and it has another dowel here. I had to remove the dowel to take this bolt out. So we'll just stick that back in there. So now I'm just going to put the dab of silicone around this portion. So it has two short bolts, two long bolts, two short ones go here, the long ones go here. And they're all 10 millimeter. All right, so the one last piece we have to put in is, is here. And this goes right, right in front. So just put a little dab of silicone around that. And that's eight millimeter Allen. Now that we got it all assembled, we can see it has all the gears. So first, 
Let me see, spin the differential. Second, spin the differential. Third, spin the differential. Fourth, fifth. All right, then reverse. You can see the diff I'm spinning the counter, the main shaft counterclockwise, and the differential is spinning clockwise. So they're good there. So we're all done with this. Now, if you had the uh, speed sensor, you'd put it in here. I don't have it. It didn't come with the transmission when it was dropped off. Obviously, your shift or your clutch fork would go here. This is actually going into a K Series MR2. He's ready for to pick it up. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Honda Resource. In this episode, I showed you how to install synchros into an EP3 transmission. It'd be very similar if you had a, a Honda Accord, like K24 transmission, or if you had a six speed, like out of a TSX or um, RSX Type S. But essentially, it, you know, it's just gonna be splitting the gears off the shafts, throwing the new synchros in, and then reassembling it. Obviously, this process is a little bit simpler if you have a press, and you can just press the stuff on and off. Unfortunately, I don't have a press at this time, but hopefully I'll be upgrading to that in the future. So hopefully you're able to learn something from this. If you were able to learn something from it, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like button down below. And also, I know people are gonna flame me for not using the press or whatever and doing it the way I did. You can go ahead and comment about that too. Tell me how I need to get a press, all right? Or if you enjoyed the video, let me know that below too. So if you're new around here, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell so that you get notifications each time I make a new post. That way you can stick around and see some more of the stuff I've got going on. For you regulars, I appreciate you checking out the channel. As always guys, thanks and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.